Hey everyone, this is Michael Treadhart, National Technology Instructor. I want to let you know about a nice little tip that you can add to your eEdge website. And you can also incorporate the upcoming QR code for your new mobile app for all Keller Williams agents. And what we can incorporate into our eEdge marketing is we can go out and we can create a QR code. And that QR code could go to our eAgency site, or we could have that QR code go to our eEdge site. But what would happen is that code would actually show up on all the marketing pieces that we would send out. Now, a little caveat to that. When the mobile app rolls out for all the Keller Williams agents, if you log into your kw.com back office, go into your e-agency website and go to step 4.0, 4.5, there will be a QR code setting right here that you guys can then take and go out and market. So if you wanted to, if you wanted that QR code to be the one that would go on all your marketing pieces, you absolutely could use that one. Anything you mail out, somebody could scan that with their with their phone or with their iPad, and then they would be able to download your own personalized mobile app that would allow them to go out and search properties in the area. So that's definitely going to be something that you would want to take a look at when that mobile app rolls out. In the meantime, and, and maybe instead of, here's what we can do. We can come over here to our eEdge site, copy this link, go out to Goo. Dot gl. Now you have to have a Google account, which everybody should have a Google account because there's a lot of really great things that you can do with that and they're free. And even if you don't want to use Gmail, you can still just get a Google account. But what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to paste the URL in there. Now we don't really care about the shortener. It's just a means to an end. So when I hit shorten URL, it will abbreviate that. I don't really care about that. What I do care about is the ability to go in and I can come down to any one of these links and hit details. And when I click on details, it's going to give me the details of that information for that link. And I can go out and I can see the stats. I can see everything that I want to see about that. And when I go out and I do that, then what's going to happen is, let's see if we can get this to go. I had a little quick error there. There we go. So when I come over here to where it says details, it's going to give me all the stats. It's going to be, give me all the information about that URL link. On that page, for every single one of these coming down this list, it's also going to give me a QR code. And if I come over here and I look, there's the QR code for this link. And if I want to, I can come in. If I'm a, a PC user, I can right-click on that. And I can say save, picture as, and I can save it. Now, most times, PC users, it's going to make you save it only as a PNG file. Save it. Save it out to your desktop. Save it wherever you want to save it. Open it back up and then say open with paint. And if you open it with paint, then you have the ability to say file save as and then save it as a JPEG. I use a Mac. I can come over here and I can say save image as. Or I could also come down here and I have what's called Skitch, and Skitch allows me to do a screen snap, and I can come over here and I can cut that piece out. I'm just doing that right here. I'm going to go ahead and capture that. And then I can come over here and I can say File, Export. I'm going to save this out to my desktop. I'm going to call it QR Code, and it's saving it as a JPEG. The biggest thing is I got to get that code into JPEG format. So PC users, you're going to use a different route. Mac users, you're going to use a different route. Regardless, we got to get to JPEG. Now, when we come over here and we're in the back office of KW.com, if I go down to where it says My Marketing, hit that plus sign, come down into Manage eEdge Website, this is going to bring me into the admin portion of my website, but also of eEdge. So we end up on website but just move right over to where it says my account. When I do that, I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom and right here where it says marketing logo, I'm going to go in and I'm going to add that QR code. Now some of you may already have a KW logo there. You don't necessarily need that because on all your marketing pieces you already have a KW logo. So you can use your own personalized logo if you have that or better yet, in my opinion, better for marketing, I'm going to come over here to where it says marketing logo, go out and find the one I just created, hit open, upload, and now have a QR code. This QR code does not show up on my eEdge website. 
It does, however, show up on my eEdge marketing pieces. So if I come over here to where it says marketing materials, give it a second for it to load up. I'm going to go in, I can see this information on a flyer, for instance. So I'm going to come over here to where it says flyers, property flyers, property number one. I'm going to say create edit, and I'm going to choose one of these listings here, hit submit. Give it a second for it to load up. Now, while it's taking the time to load up, we are pulling this up on a property flyer. This is the QR code for the homepage of my website. What I could do with goo.gl is I could come over here and I could create multiples and I could have a QR code for a brand new listing that I have. So that, therefore, when I come over to this flyer, instead of showing the QR code for my homepage, I could show the flyer for my own personal listing. That's powerful because then that way I can put that on all my marketing pieces for that listing. I can use that as a, as a listing leverage tool. Hey, if you list with me, you're going to get your own personalized QR code that you can go out and market, Mr. Seller. But we're also going to put that on your, on your flyer. We're going to put it on all the marketing pieces that we're going to use for your office, or excuse me, for your listing. And so that's really going to be a nice, powerful option. Now, let's see if we can get this to load up here. Internet's running a little slow today. Let's see if we can get it to go to create edits. We'll choose some injuries again. And hit submit. Let's see if we can get it to load. Looks like we're going this time. There we go. Start editing. Now, when this flyer comes up, I have the ability to go in and start to edit pretty much any element of this flyer. But if I look down at the very, very bottom of the flyer, I will see the QR code setting right there, which I can then pick up, I can move it around, I can resize it, I can change it out. So if I wanted to change it to the QR code for this listing, all I would have to do is either come up here to replace image or remove it and then just start a brand new one by saying add image. So QR codes can be very powerful for your business. It's a nice little listing leverage tool. It's a difference maker. Not a lot of agents are using them. So go ahead and be the one agent who is using them in your marketplace. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. You can just go out to michaeltradehart.com for any of your other questions. Thanks. Bye.